So you generally have three sorts of people. You've got tourists, you've got journalists, and you've got problem solvers. The tourists are just there for the ride. And the journalists report problems. This is bad, this is bad. But what you really want to have is problem solvers. And that's what entrepreneurs are. In life, I've tried many field businesses, many field ventures. And uh, during those period, I've had people call me failure. I founded my first company in 22. The company failed. I try again, the company failed. I think failure is just, you know, a way of learning. You know, I think it's the best teacher. And when you're not failing, it means you're not trying, you're not growing, you're not learning at all. So failure is something that I personally embrace and I smile when I fail because I want to overcome it. I don't have any problem with somebody sincerely believing that they have the right answer and turning out to have had the wrong answer. In that sense, I'm a strong believer in, in accepting well-intentioned failure, that, that what, what makes it well-intentioned was that you were trying to get to the right answer. I got virtually everything wrong, so I learned, you know, my lesson the hard way. We understood there's some key problems that we have that we didn't have a clue how we're going to solve it. Getting to know about uh, Stanford SIT program was a miracle. We'd done seven years of running a business. We'd survived three near bankruptcies. And you were sort of feeling like, you know, I've learned all there is to know now. So what possibly could, could SEED offer me? And yet the experience was nothing like what I, I thought it would be. And it was phenomenal. The Seed Transformation Program is a program targeted at uh, the founders and leaders of uh, small and medium-sized businesses in uh, developing economies. Seed for me is actually um, the number one game changer. It's like going to business school, really. but. It's, I think it's even better. You have a, a process, tools, methodology. The Seed Transformation Program as that program that actually helps you to plan your business so that it can outlive you. It came in at the right time to help think through some of the challenges, um, things like how to deal with corruption, things like how to motivate your staff. With the same resources, we're about five times more efficient than we were. Within these times, I've, I've, been, I've encountered it. My business has grown more than 50%. In 2014, we were 23 employees. So we are currently 65. In terms of revenue, um, we're looking at doubling our business every year. In 2015, we doubled uh, 2014, and we are on track to double 2015 in 2016. We've gone from 30 people to 80. So we just closed with Acumen Fund. So today, we are operating about three new other countries. We're only five years into our journey, but I think what we've seen so far is it, it seems to work. They are some of the most energetic, they are some of the most committed, they are some of the most uh, entrepreneurial and insightful leaders that I have ever interacted with. I think that's what the SEED um, program gives you, that this courage to see clearly where you're going. And so you, you don't stop walking because the, you know, the journey has just begun. First, my ambition was just me, me, my family. But now it's not, it's, it's, it's different. It's my country, it's my region, it's, it's, it's Africa, it's the world. I think successful is about impact. It doesn't matter what you've accomplished personally. You're not yet seeing the correlation across the continent you'd like to see. I will only be successful when we've been able to create a platform that those who are yet to be born, when they are given birth to, the moment they land on this earth, yeah, they have access to the very basic things in my part of the world.